Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a DIY and I'm gonna show you all how I made this cute doormat for our house. So some of the things that you're gonna need include a doormat, Flex Seal Black Spray, vinyl, a Cricut, and mats. So let's go ahead and get into it. First, we're gonna open up Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna put down a square. I'm gonna make this square the same size as my mat, which is 18 by 30 inches. And then I'm just gonna zoom all the way out and I'm doing this so that I'll know exactly how big I need to make my design. So I'm gonna also slice out a rectangle in the middle just so I have a white background, but I wanna make sure I put my design inside this space. Next, I'm gonna type out Boyce, which is our last name, and I'm gonna be using the font Autumn in November that I got off thefont.com. And once I have the word typed out, I'm going to ungroup it and I'm gonna put everything close to each other, like bump it up against each other, and then I'm gonna click weld, which will make it all one word. Then I'm gonna put it back in the middle. And if you didn't know, you can go to Cricut on the top and do a line and you can center everything up. So it does it for you, it'll center it for you. And so now I'm just gonna add the word the, and do that same thing with that. I'm gonna be you know, putting it close together, bumping out the letters, and then I'm going to click we to make it one word. Then I'm gonna do established in 2017 because we got married in 2017. And then once I get everything all together, I am going to center the design. So it's all even and centered and everything and how I want it. And then I'm gonna weld it all together so it'll be one cut and won't be all over the place. So once I have the design that I want, I'm gonna click make it. And at the top is giving me a warning sign saying that you know I need a longer mat. So I do have a 12 by 24 inch mat, which is what I'll be using for this tutorial. And then um, initially I had to mirror the design because I was using freezer paper. However, I ended up not using freezer paper so I did not have to mirror the design for the vinyl. So if you are using freezer paper, mirror the design, but if you're not using freezer paper and using regular vinyl, do not mirror the design. Once that's all cut out by my Cricut, I'm now gonna weed out the inside portion. So basically I'm gonna weed out our name because I want that part to be open because I'm using this as a stencil. Once my design is all weeded out, I'm going to be using contact paper to lay on top of my design. So I like to peel a little bit of the contact paper off first and place it on and press it down. And then I'll pull the paper out from underneath the contact paper just to make it a little bit easier and so everything doesn't get stuck everywhere. I'm gonna use my scissor handlebar to press everything down tightly. And then I am going to peel my design up. After my contact paper has been placed on, then I'm going to go ahead and peel the turquoise vinyl off.
Alrighty, so now that I have the um, vinyl off, sorry that it's at such an angle. I didn't think it would be at this bad of an angle, but um, I'm going to just kind of place my vinyl on my mat where I want it to be. So here I'm just kind of measuring it out so I can center up the design. My mat ended up being 29.5 inches, not exactly 30 inches. So I was kind of like bummed out about that. But anyway, it'll still do. And so yeah, now I'm just trying to center up my design. Once I have the design kind of centered, I'm gonna just press it down into the fibers of the mat, trying to just get it to stick as best as I can to the mat. And then I'm going to take masking tape. I'm gonna tape one side of the vinyl down to the mat. And this will help when I'm pulling off the contact paper, because remember, there is still contact paper on top of the design. I'm also going to put masking tape on the other side to hold that part in as well while I am pulling off the contact paper. And then once I have both sides taped down, I'm gonna start to carefully peel off the contact paper. And you know, there are little bitty inside pieces to this design, so just make sure when you're pulling them off that either you pull them off and wait till the end to put your middle pieces back in or you just kind of make sure you keep track of them because some of those little pieces can get lost <laughs> while you're doing this and you don't want to have to cut the whole design out again because this is a lot of vinyl that I had to use for this. Alrighty, now that I have the contact paper off, I'm gonna just make sure all those inside pieces are where they need to go. And then I'm going to just go ahead and use masking tape to tape all the way around the open mat part because I don't wanna get any spray or after spray on the mat at all. I just want the spray to be right where the design is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tape up the rest of the mat that has open spaces. All right, now that everything is taped up, I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and I am going to spray my mat outside. So make sure with this Flex Seal spray that you shake the can really well before using it because if you don't, it'll come out kind of chunky and uneven at first. So yeah, just make sure you shake the can up really well and spray away. I feel like the mats are pretty forgiving. Um, the letters and things don't have to be on the mat tightly for it to come out right. Um, it just definitely needs to be on there. But um, yeah, it was a blast making this and it definitely was not as difficult as I thought it would have been. Once I have the spray in all the spots that I want it to be in, I'm gonna let this air dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. And after 10 to 15 minutes, I'm gonna have on some gloves. I'm gonna put gloves on and I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the design. yes look at that i was so excited when i saw that it came out right i was like yes you go girl <laughs> um, i use a seam ripper to pick out those little inside pieces and yeah guys it came out really really well i was super excited that it came out good and yeah, um, once you take it off though, you do need to give it about 24 to 48 hours to cure. And that is what I did. So let it cure for 24 to 48 hours.
and this is the finished mat it came out super awesome i really like the mat it came out great so after finishing my mat i decided i wanted to add a border so i basically just did a one inch border on the top and bottom just to add a little more pizzazz i'm trying to decide if i want to add a border at it on the other ends as well but right now i think it looks really awesome and i'm super happy with how it turned out thank you guys for watching and i see y'all in the next one bye